Over the past six months, we've managed to put together an entire MCAT course onto YouTube with the intention of offering an alternative to some of the paid courses, which are, in all honesty, a little bit pricey. But one thing that we haven't talked about a ton is the math on the MCAT. So now that we've finally finished all the strategies, passage breakdowns, and the content explanations that went into the free MCAT course, we're gonna teach you some math. Actually, we're gonna teach you all the math. I've spent the last several weeks writing a math guide that walks you through common algebraic manipulations, gives you some high yield examples of how the MCAT tests specific mathematical concepts, and includes a full equation sheet with all the formulas and all of their units that the MCAT could possibly test you on. This document is the culmination of my understanding of math through years tutoring this exam, as well as the formal math instruction I gained when I was getting my bachelor's degree in physics. If I'd had this when I was studying for the MCAT, it would have felt like a complete cheat code because one of the biggest anxieties that I had when studying was that they were going to ask about a formula or a unit that I had never seen. I really am just so proud to announce that if you're watching this video, then the math guide is available on our website through the link in the description. If you're studying for the MCAT or if you've just been looking for a way to support us as we take on this mission of eliminating the pay to play mentality in medical education, this is your first opportunity. However, if that's not something that you're comfortable doing, then that is completely okay and we still want you to kill the exam. So in the description, I've also included a link to a Reddit document that contains most of the equations that you'll need for the exam. I do want to include a slight disclaimer. This Reddit document is missing a couple of equations. It has a couple extra that you probably won't see on there. And there are some minor mistakes in some of the equations and the units. Although I guess a minor mistake in equation is a big mistake. But it was still a really great effort and it is a great place to start. Also, to help everyone out, I guess it's time that I should announce our next YouTube series. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click the bell to turn on the notifications. We're taking on math.